Sue, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hey, Ken, how are you? Sue, I'm living the dream. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm living the dream as well because I get to talk to you today. Oh, man, I'm telling you right now, I'll send you 20 <laughs> bucks for that later. That made me feel nice. Thank you. What's going on? Uh, uh, well, I'm calling because I, or by the way, I just want to say I saw you guys live in May. And Where? I think you and Dr. Um, in Las Vegas here. Oh, yes. Central, yeah. Yes. Um, I think you and Dr. John Deloney are a great duo. Thank you. Well, we, that was fun. We, we, we like hanging out with each other. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> good to hear. Uh, well, I'm calling because I wanted to get your advice on how to best prepare for my now sixth interview. And it's going to be an in-person interview with the CEO for an executive assistant position. But um, in the process, I've had an assessment that I took, which included a written portion, calendar note-taking, inbox management. I had a phone interview with the recruiter, a Zoom interview with the hiring manager, another Zoom interview with the team, which included two EAs, then a Zoom interview with the president and CFO, then a Zoom interview with the, C, uh, the co-founder slash chief strategy officer, and now, tomorrow, an in-person interview with the CEO. And this is your so, first interview with the CEO? Correct. So you haven't made it this far because you're a dud. They think that you have a shot because if they, you've gone through all those people and now you're getting to the CEO, um, that's because you've got a – legit shot there are several people who think you're the one and now it's up to the ceo that's the way that i'm mentally preparing okay so here's what i'm getting at you need to be really confident what's your confident mm -hmm. meter right now on a scale of one to ten one being terrified that you're not a good fit and ten being you know you got it in the bag mm, 8.5 great i'd like to see it get to nine and a half before the interview tomorrow OK. OK. And here's what I want you to do. Here's how you prepare for the interview. You've already okay. gone through all of the technical conversations. I want you to prepare some questions that, you know, matter deeply to you if you're going to serve this guy well. So let's assume I want you going into the interview with the CEO, believing you already got the job. And then it's your first icebreaker meeting. It's your first day. You already got the job and you're going to go. How do you operate? What mm. do you prefer? I'm asking some high-level questions for you as examples because you're actually experienced enough to make those very pinpointed. But I'm I'm going to go in there acting like I got the job, but not mm -hmm. like a not like as a pinhead and an arrogant person. But going, mm -hmm. I'd love to know. Like I want you to flip the tables on him and interview him. And I'm asking mm -hmm. questions like, of all of the executive assistants you've ever had, describe the one that was the best. Oh, I like that question. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Because I want him yes. to go, okay. I want him to think about that and describe it. And I want mm -hmm. you actually looking at him, and I want you to have something to write with. And by the way, this is a little cheat code for people who are nervous in interviews and how to look really confident but be nervous as all get out. Take in a moleskin or a notebook or whatever journal you use. I use the moleskin here. I'm a Hemingway fan, and this was his favorite mm -hmm. thing. And I go in with my questions written down in front of me. That does not make you look anything but prepared. And so it's sitting right there and you go, I've got a couple of questions for you. Wait, who, describe that person that was the best assistant you ever had. He does. Uh, why did it work so well? Uh, what are the things that trigger you? Hmm. Okay. And that's a good question too. I know. <laughs> it's what I do. Uh, but, but here's my point. I'm, I'm learning some things that, I need to know. Mm -hmm. And in doing so, you're going to come across so impressive. And 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 here's the deal. You really are at the point now where you got to decide, is he good for you? You guys are dance partners. When you're an mm -hmm. executive assistant for a CEO, you are the yin to their yang. You are the gatekeeper. I mean, you are, I mean, this is a dance. This is a partnership. And you better make sure he's a good fit for you. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yeah. So that's, I'm, I think I've given you enough. I think you're quite experienced and bright enough to come up with your questions, but that's what you're doing. And in doing so, 
you're going to be so stinking impressive. I'll bet you a lot of the other people, the candidates, aren't doing that. And so that's what you want. You want him to go, this is a thoughtful person, and we're going to figure out if I'm the right fit or not. And then if it's the right fit, he'll hire you before the interview's over.